Alright, since this video is all about gears, I thought I would make a quick tutorial on drivers. Alright, now let me um, first say that I'm not very competent when it comes to drivers, so this is going to be a, just a very basic um, example. Keep in mind I am using Blender 2.90. Let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to hide the light and hide the camera. Now let's add a couple of gears. And these gears are going to be very simple. They're going to be the default gears that Blender creates. And I'm just doing that for simplicity reasons. If you come up here to add and then choose mesh, you may see gears down here. If you don't, come up here to edit choose preferences and then go here type in object and then you will see add mesh extra objects whenever you check that to turn that on then you should see the extra mesh objects which include a gear I'm just gonna choose a regular standard gear and if you want to modify the gear you can modify it here but I'm not going to mess with that just to make this example more simple. Uh, press 7 to go into top side view and then I'm going to press 5 to go into orthographic view. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to create a duplicate of this gear. Shift D and then X to move it on the X axis and I'm just going to move it to about right here. Now I need to rotate this gear so that the teeth are lined up correctly. So press R for rotate and then adjust, just rotate it to about right there so it looks like it's the gears are actually working. Now the at this point we need the rotation of this gear to be zeroed out. Press N. You don't absolutely have to do this but it makes the math simpler to understand. Makes the expression or the mathematical formula that we need to create much more simple if we go ahead and zero this out. See it's it's showing 15 degrees rotation on the z-axis but if we press control A and then choose to apply the rotation then it's zeroed out which makes it simpler. Alright the concept of this is we need this gear to rotate based on the rotation of this gear now the driver has to be applied to this gear because the driver is driving this gear based on this gear so the driver is applied to this gear hope that makes sense with this gear selected come over here to the Z rotation axis right click and choose add driver now this panel right here is kind of glitchy sometimes so I'm just going to go ahead and move off of it and then I'm going to come up here and then left click to drag in this corner and then just drag this down so we can split the window and then change this view type to drivers and then just left click on the Euler rotation or however that's pronounced and then press in to bring up the side panel and then click on the drivers tab and this is basically the same tab that we've seen before. All right. Now we need to tell this that the driver is going to be looking at this gear. So with this eyedropper, come over, click on that gear, or we could just choose the gear here, however you want to do it. And we're going to have it translate the Z axis. We want it to look at the Z axis of this gear and then translate it to the Z axis of this gear. So change this to Z rotation. All right. Now here's where the math comes in. We want both of these gears are the same size. They have the same teeth. So we know it's a one to one ratio. So we need to come up here to the variable expression and create the mathematical formula. And the mathematical formula always, as far as I know, it's always going to start with VAR in a situation like this. And I'm just going to put times 1 
and then enter. And that's just saying whatever this variable is, which is the variable of the z-axis, whatever that is, it's times one on this. So basically going to be spinning the same speed. Now if I right click on this gear and press rotate, you can see the second gear is rotating, but it's rotating the wrong direction. So how do you fix that? So you come up here, click on this gear to bring so that you can have access to the driver and then instead of times one change it to times minus one now it should rotate the correct direction rotate and there you go that's basically a very simple driver now let's suppose um, let me go ahead and um, delete this gear delete and let me um, add another gear add mesh and then uh, how many teeth did this have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this is twelve tooth add mesh and then uh, uh, where are you at gears alright now come up here to this gear and change this to six all right now I'm going to close this panel grab it on the x-axis and just move it out here out of the way so we can see it better and then let's say we we want this to be smaller let's you know I didn't actually model it correctly but you know grab on the x-axis and just bring it in here now the gears obviously does need some work they're not exactly built right but this is just an example I'm going to press rotate and then change it to about right there and again it doesn't work quite right but this is just an example now I'm going to go ahead and press control a and apply the rotation now this right here only has six teeth this has 12 teeth so if this one spins this one should spin twice as fast right because it's a one to two ratio so with this gear selected come over here to the z-axis right click add driver and I'm gonna drag this panel down then click on the Euler Z direction and then choose the control gear and then change this to Z rotation and up here we need to go to times 2 enter now if I rotate this one this one should turn like for every one rotation of this one this should turn two rotations rotate Z but again it's turning the wrong direction so you need to click on the gear again and change this to times minus two rotate now you can see it sort of works but the gearing itself is the tooth, tooth spacing is wrong but this is just an example of the drivers you can see it would work if you know I put more time into making the gears match up but basically that's how you go about it simple enough right if you have oh um, I just want to do this real quick so you have an idea uh, how this would work let me go ahead and uh, bring this up a little bit and then on I'm just going to keyframe the z-axis and then I'm going to go to frame 250 and I'm going to change this to uh, let's say 720 degrees and then keyframe that so basically between frame 1 and frame 250 this gear is going to turn twice around 
which means this one should turn four times around. And then click play. Simple enough, right? And uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, because I know I probably butchered this up a little bit, I will try to explain it. And I guess that's it. Later, people.